So, the news headlines now on BBC One with Anna Ford. Good morning. The military campaign against Saddam Hussein started early this morning with bombing and cruise missile attacks on the outskirts of Baghdad. The attacks were described as limited and were brought forward after the U.S. received intelligence about the whereabouts of senior members of the Iraqi regime, including Saddam Hussein. President Bush appeared on American television to announce the start of military action and said coalition forces would prevail. Saddam Hussein went on Iraqi television and accused America of crimes against humanity. President Chirac said France regretted the attacks. Russia and China were also opposed to the action, but there was support from Japan and the Philippines. The Defence Secretary Jeff Hoon said British forces were on a very, very high state of alert and that it would not take long before the attack on Iraq escalated. Morning, He'll make a statement to MPs later today. Troops donned gas masks after Iraq fired a number of missiles at Kuwait. Air raid sirens sounded in Kuwait City. U.S. Patriot missiles intercepted at least one Scud and other missiles exploded in northern Kuwait. A quick look at today's weather. Cloud and light rain in western Scotland will move east later, but England and Wales will be largely dry with sunny periods. That's it. We'll be back with more news in a special programme on BBC One and News 24 at 12 o'clock.